All right, here's another training run in the Flat Rock area at Chattahoochee Bend State Park. Full disclaimer, I made this map. I hung the tape. The only thing I haven't done is actually run the course. Here's your first leg. Take a look. You get 15 seconds to look it over. Yeah, so... <laughs> The Flat Rock area, when you're in the Flat Rock, it can be very green on the edges. When you're in the normal forest, yeah, it's pretty open, but yeah, this can be quite challenging. So I'm headed out the trail. At some point past that trail junction, I'm going to veer off and cut off that big bend in the trail right about there. Pick the trail up again. Now you notice that the uh, the uh, control is in sort of a re-entrant. It's a boulder. And the boulders at Chat Bend are, for the most part, big and visible. Occasionally they're not. But yeah, you're not going to have a lot of trouble finding these boulders. And there it is. Blue tape. All right, here's your number two. Fifteen seconds to look her over. My plan is to get up across the road, across that old trail, and go down that huge re-entrant. So yeah, getting up to the road is the first task. These trails on the bare rock are not visible, so if you run across it, uh, great. If not, just do whatever you can. I did finally find a little bit of it. Crossing the Big Bear Rock. Back in 2012, this is where we had our finish. Now, getting out to the road. Uh, that green should be uh, a dark green, not a light green. I couldn't go in there. So I had to turn south. I'm going down what used to be the old road, I think past those boulders until finally I can pop out onto the road. It wasn't too bad on this side. The trees are small. As you'll find on the bare rock, the trees are stunted. They just can't get a good grip. They don't grow very large. Cross the old road. And then that reentrant on the other side is huge. And yeah, I've got that circle on a rootstock. That rootstock is no longer there. And uh, I found a different rootstock a little further west, which is where the actual control is hanging. But I knew that going in. I just didn't bother to move the circle. If I go down, I hit marsh. I turn left, go around the edge of it, which leads me right into the new rootstock. Now, that three leg, that's complicated. It is tempted just to go north up to that uh, paved trail. That's a new paved trail, not open yet. It's been closed for a year. But anyway, I'm not out here to run on trails. My plan is to go through, you, you may have noticed, a saddle down at the bottom of this uh, spur with all the rock on it. I'm going to go through that saddle and then cross over. So I'm headed down, down, down. Anytime you're going down through mostly open forest, this is when you should be making some time. <laughs> I was doing my best. But it does get green when you cross over. We've had so much rain. So I come out on the old road. 
Turn right and head down. Now maybe you can see the saddle. It's down around the curve of the road. But I'm doing my best to cover this old road as quickly as possible. I did lose a contour or two. Not too bad. Now I'm trying to decide when to get off the old road. I guess the video is running a little behind the map. When I was down, this is another big re-entrant, and uh, it's got a lot of medium green down there. I couldn't remember if this was bad or not. I seem to remember pine trees or something, but I skirted along the edge of it. And then crossed over, and it wasn't too bad. You know, I never did see the stream. I don't remember crossing any stream. I do remember the remains of that dirt bank up and over. And then another reentrant on the other side. Now you can see the paved trail up there, but I'm not going up there. I'm going up this reentrant and across the bare rock. And yeah, here's the rock at the bottom. These bare rock areas on their lower edge is just a mess of uh, broken rock and green stuff growing in between the cracks. And uh, yeah. I don't know why I went this way, but there it is. I'm trying my best to get through here as quickly as possible. So I come out on the bare rock. I'm not sure how far down I am. I turn and go up until it starts to narrow in. Get into the woods. Immediately cross some boulders. These are not the ones I'm looking for. <laughs> These are not the droids you're seeking. Oh, there's my rock. Okay. Now this, there's a, uh, well, I'll let you look at it. <laughs> Yeah, that indistinct trail or old track, it's hard to find. Orienteers can find these things easier than your civilians. There it is, right there. So I turn and go down it. It quickly peters out. I see the bare rock off to the right. So I bear a little left. And there's lots of boulders to my left. So I sort of know exactly where I am. I need to go down. What I'm looking for is that large flat area followed by saddle and a one contour hill. And it's hard to tell when you're going down this thing where the flat area is, but I think I have found it. Would be very easy to get off here. I go down into what I think is the saddle and immediately bear off to the right looking for big piles of boulders and I can see the boulders. Run over there. There's my control. All right this four to five I'll let you look at it. And so that spur is sort of leading down to it. Not quite, but sort of. And this is sort of a tricky control, too. My idea is to angle off, not doing any unnecessary climbing. Contour over to that spur and start down it. There is a form line hill down there. As soon as I see that form line hill, I'm going to dive off the side. 
And this is when you should be making time. Relatively open forest, relatively flat. Man, if only I could run faster. I think, okay, I must be past it now. I'm headed down. And this is a very broad reentrant I'm heading into. So broad that you have a hard time finding the bottom of it. Is this the bottom? Is that the bottom? Notice that down by the control, it gets a lot narrower. So that's what I'm looking for. The area where it narrows. There she goes. Should be a boulder here. There it is right there. Where's the tape? Oh, the tape's on laying on the ground. All right. These very short controls, um, just going to warn you right now that you have to really move on these short controls or it's going to ruin your average. You have a pretty much a constant amount of time to punch, to run into the control, to punch, to fold your map, to plan what you're going to do, to move on. That's constant from control to control. So when you have a very short leg like this, you've really got to cover this space quickly or it's going to ruin your average time, your average speed. So yeah, not much to plan here. Just go for it. Looking for the junction of a ditch and gully. And it's on top of a spur, which is an odd place for it. But there it is. Now this leg's even shorter. Now you've got to punch and go. No time to stand there and think. And move quickly. a shallow reentrant, so you've got to be careful not to run past it. I never saw the ditch. Not that I was looking for a ditch. I'm just looking for control. Well, blue tape. There it is. Another short lag. This one's a bit more complicated. Yeah, so that control is creek and a dotted ditch, which is really a ditch with water in it and a boulder at the end. You gotta move quickly and get across these uh, reentrants and get down into the big reentrant where the creek is. I see some yellow off to the side. Well, not yellow, but open area. That's down below. I'm thinking, have I gone too far to the left? I don't think so. All right, I'm dropping in now, and I'm hoping this is the right reentrant. I don't see the big creek at all. Where the heck is the big creek? It's just too thick over there to see it. Ditch. Okay, wet ditch. It should be. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. This is one of the more complicated legs in this training run. The problem is crossing all these big reentrants. That's a divergent path, right? So those reentrants, when they're going uphill like that and they're branching off to the left and the right, and got several of them. It's easy to go up the wrong one. So we've got to cross these things and not go too much uphill or not turn and go up one of these thinking it's the right one when it's the wrong one. We're trying to count. Already crossed a small one, crossing a big one. Try not to do too much climbing because there's a lot of climb to come. Crossing another one. Is this the one? No, that's not the one. You've got to go over another little spur into this. This should be, oh, it fell. Get up. This should be the right one. Now head uphill. Now you'll notice on the uh, left side there, we've got the heart rate monitor at the top. <laughs> Max heart rate for a person my age is 152. Ah, uh, yeah, so I'm pegging against the top of my max heart rate. 
I had to think, what am I going to do when I get up here? Where's the control going to be? Maybe I can see that uh, tree stand. And yeah, there it is. Now, if I had been looking for that tree stand, I never would have found it. But there it was right in my path. I was able then to reorient the map, head off in the direction. The bare rock areas are easy to see from a distance because it's open. I could only see them on the map. The green and the gray just blend right in together. Uh, trying to wipe the sweat off, recover a little heart rate. There's my tape. Now, who the hell designed this leg? I got a lot of climb here to get back. My plan is to drop down to that old trail, go up the old trail, and then through the medium green, which I already decided the medium green wasn't that bad because I came through there on the way to number three. Running along the old trail, counting off boulders and things to the right and the left. It's very steep down in there. I want to wait until it opens up more to drop in. So I drop in and immediately it turns green. Best laid plans. I can see now that it was that marsh green that I was crossing and then a bunch of small trees. Old rootstock. All right, so I'm not feeling too well. The heart rate is, uh, yeah, pretty high. And I've got a big hill to go up. Normally, I would say, well, if I've got to go up anyway, I may as well just go in a straight line, but I just wasn't feeling it. It was uh, a little too difficult to go straight up those contours, so I head off toward the paved trail, the hated paved trail that they've put in. Trying to cover the distance as quickly as possible, wiping the sweat. Second, the heart rate. Oh, 155. Crap. And you can see this paved trail from a long way off because they've got that erosion fence all along it, which they have never taken down. It's just awful. What an eyesore. And even after I get to the paved trail, I'm not home free because I've still got to go up three or four contours. I'm studying the map, trying to figure out the gray and the green, which I cannot read at this point. When do I get off the paved trail? When do I head over into the green? Because some fool put this contour right on the other side of the green. This control, I mean. I head in, but it's too soon. And then I immediately go in the wrong direction. I can see that bare rock to my right, so I turn back to the left. I know I've got to cross several um, shallow re-entrance form lines. I'm not even in the green, but it feels like I am. I'm looking for this clearing. Struggling. I see, oh, that looks like clearing over there. Let's go towards that. When I get there, where the hell are the boulders? Where are the boulders? They're covered in this uh, little pine, so there it is. All right, we're headed home. If we could only make up for some of this lost time, that would be great. You know, I can't see the green, gray distinctions in here. If I could, I might use some of this green to my 
the, some of the gray to my advantage, or I might just totally go around it, which probably would have been a better idea, swing off to the south, the left, go around it and get on the paved trail. I did find this bare rock. I used that section. Didn't last very long. I got up in there and I found something that looked like it might be that uh, yellow blob. Didn't help a whole lot. Still trying to wipe away the sweat, yeah. And stumble along through the green. So then I found that long skinny bare rock, but it was covered in small pine trees. Yeah, that should be changed to some kind of dark green. Pop out onto the bare rock, finally, where I could run. There's the erosion fence for the paved trail. Headed for the saddle. If I can just cross through that saddle, then it's just down the re on the other side. Be great if I can make up some time, but the heart rate is, what, 154? Mm. And they put a fence here for some reason. Cross the fence, and then I had brain fade at this point. I headed off in the wrong direction. Nope, this is wrong. Turn back to the right. Heart rate recovers pretty quickly. That's good. Down into the dot knoll. Now you're finished. Yeah, I'll let you look at it. Nothing could be easier than this finish. The paved trail and the gravel road just following you right in there. Plus you're gonna follow this re-entrant all the way up. So yeah, there's no excuse for not doing this quickly, except that I'm tired and it's uphill. I thought, well, I'll, you know, aim off for the paved road so I can run down it. But it was so green on the edge of the paved road, another thing that needs to be added to the map, that uh, I couldn't get over there. Finally, I found a spot. You can see the erosion control fence. Up and cross over. Try to move down the paved road as quickly as I can. Cross the gravel road. Up into the parking lot. Here's the stats page you can see with the control app. Um, 69, 65 minutes, I guess. Five and a half K that I ran for a 4.9 K course. My pace was uh, 1323. That pace averages over the distance that I ran, five and a half K, so it's shorter. And then fast and all that kind of stuff. Heart rate high, 156. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, some interesting stats you can get with the control app. Anyway, thanks for watching.